So my dog hair dryer just arrived. So let's check it out. So far I'm seeing that it is well packaged because it was a box inside of a box and you can see it's taped up very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it and check this thing out. And here it is. So it looks like we have all our parts and it comes with a little instruction book. So just to briefly show, here's the instructions. If you lost yours or need it, you'll have to pause to read them. I'll flip it over. Looks pretty self-explanatory, easy to use, but here they are. So just to show the various parts real quick, here's the hose. We have this attachment piece this attachment a little thinner version of that and a very thin tube type attachment and under the cardboard is our actual hair dryer once again wrapped well inside the styrofoam on the sides to keep it from moving around so much during the shipping as well as some plastic wrap around it to protect it as well so this is everything all together out the box and as you can see, this is actually a pretty compact size. It has a good bit of weight to it, but it has a handle so you can easily carry it. Like I said, good bit of weight. And you have your power button. You can adjust the speed and heat on or off. So you can see that. And right here is where you'll add your little hose attachment, the safety signs, and this is the type of plug it is. So for the hose, both sides appear to be the same. So attaching it shouldn't really matter which way you attach it and which end you're gonna use for the attachment. So for attaching, make sure you see these little bands. You're gonna pull this off, which just slips out of place. Don't It doesn't really work very well one-handed. And you'll see these little, see right here? And you can easily just slide it on. Again, it doesn't really work very great one-handed, but once it's on, see the clip, it has a little grooves in it you'll slide it right back into place to kind of hold it in its position and of course that's on both ends you'll do that for both attaching it to and to one of your attachments just to show how easy it is to clip it on And just as a FYI, for anybody who wants to clean and change the filter of this dryer, right here, you just turn the knob, and it's a screw that will go ahead and lead you to the filter. And then you'll pull this cap off, and it's right there. And here's your filter. So I just wanted to briefly show how long the cord is and point out that to me, it's not too, too long, but you really don't need a super long cord for a dryer. But it's about the length of a bed to give an idea. So I'm going to go ahead and power it on to give you an idea of how loud it sounds. Uh, my pets usually run from the regular hair dryer or a vacuum. So this will just kind of let you see how loud it is. Some pets will run from it. Some may get used to it. So let's give it a try. So I will admit that this actually has some good drying power. It's very well made. My only issue is that my pets run away from it because of the loud noise. So that could be a deterrent for it. So maybe with some practice, um, treat encouragement, some training, you can certainly get your pet used to it. Um, I like that you can adjust the speed. Uh, you probably heard it and saw it in the little clip I just did where I adjusted it. And you can hear how the suction or the heat sound, I should say, just kind of amplified. So definitely a good quality product uh i think the most difficult part about it will be getting your pet used to it if they don't like loud sounds otherwise great dryer heck you probably could even use it on yourself to be quite honest although that might be a little bit more inconvenient as a human but so overall excellent product definitely one that would be great if you can get your pet not to be scared of the sound if your pet's already fine with loud sounds this could be a great option for you um 
various uh, pieces. This is perfect as far as, um, you know, like when you're trying to groom and dry at the same time. So, might be worth it. I will have a link in the, my description for anybody interested in purchasing one for themselves and giving it a try. So, if you've used one of these or have any tips for using a dryer with pets, please drop a comment and let me know.